When the timing conditions are right, a good idea will suddenly appear almost simultaneously in different places at once. For the past seven years, most of the excitement and energy in hobby robotics is focused on humanoid robots, and we've seen some amazing advances, but at the same time, there's been a level of stagnation recently with the same players participating in the same competitions and taking home all the trophies. So the time was right for a new, exciting robot sport to make its appearance and to give a whole new group of robot fans the opportunity to take up the challenge. In the U.S., mech warfare seems to be filling that need. Almost at the same same time and without any cross-pollination or communication, a very similar robot game was born in Japan, the robot survival game. Tanaka-san, the driving force behind Poseidon and the great modeler and designer, is also one of the top robot survival game players. We recently had the opportunity to take a close look at his multi-leg creation at the RT robot shop in Akihabara. His robot has six legs uh, that use condo servos. There's a pan and tilt assembly mounted on the robot's main body and it's capped by a light sensor. In combat, the light sensor is covered by a small framework with an aluminum foil skin. As competitors' pellets hit the framework, they punch holes in the foil, and more and more light hits the sensor, and this simulates battle damage. The light sensor assembly also includes a small potentiometer, and it's used to adjust the sensitivity. The front of the pan and tilt assembly is where all the action is. Uh, it has a multi-barrel pellet gun, zeroes in on opponents. Installed just above the gun and aligned with its axis, there's a modified laser pointer, optical sensor, and a camera with a video feed transmitted wirelessly back to the operator. The leg design uses standard condo servos, uh, brackets, controllers, and the brackets were originally designed for the condo KHR2HV series humanoids, so it's the stock brackets. The shin part of the leg appears to have a wooden internal structure. In a recent Robocon magazine article, Tanaka explained how he used 3D modeling software to design the leg covers, then fabricated them as flat patterns that were folded. And the result is a very extremely professional image. Tanaka uses a Kondo remote control to drive the robot in battle. It's extremely accurate and exciting. The only problem that we've noticed so far is that the gun turret sometimes collides with the top joint of the front legs. It would be interesting to see if it's possible to develop a software algorithm so that the operator could just point the gun toward, towards the opponent and let the controller take care of moving the legs and pan and tilt to get the gun into position. We're really looking forward to seeing Tanaka and his robot survival game compatriots go head-to-head -head with the mech warfare robots. Hopefully that'll take place at RoboGames 2011 next April.